everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here, and today I'm going to be flipping through issue number 292 of the World of Cross Stitching magazine. This magazine I purchased online, and I'll have the link down in the description box of this video if you're interested in picking it up. I will not be sharing patterns, um, I will just be showing what's in the magazine so that you can kind of choose whether you want to go out and purchase it or not because. This is a UK based magazine and they would be available to purchase in a shop if you don't want to purchase a yearly subscription. So with all that being said, ah, let's look at all the cute. Can you see the tiger? How amazing is this with what's on Netflix right now? I'm just saying. <laughs> so the cool thing about this is that you get a few big patterns and a lot of little patterns. I was drawn to this issue from the moment that I started the subscription because of this particular stitch right here. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. So let's open it up. So on the inside is just your basic hello from the editor, some of the designers in the book, and it gives you some, some pictures of what's to come as well as the full table of contents right here. So as you can see, we have some very cool springtime stitches. Forgive the lighting. It seems to be fading pretty fast today. So lots of really cute springtime stitches in this book, as well as pictures from people who've completed projects and like. So here we have some guests. There are readers that join their reader, reader panel every month, and they share what their favorite projects are. Um, it's nice to get to know people who are also reading the magazine and are who are using it. So our first chart is Furry Tales. Collect a chart from the adorable Furry Tales family designed by Lucy Heaton. So there's a cute little mouse that is mowing the lawn and it's so, so adorable. Here are some of the ones in the past issues. All little mice. So cute. And on this page, we have the exclusive gift of this particular, uh, this particular issue. Now I have taken out the gift on this issue and have given it as a giveaway prize. So if you haven't seen that already, go back to my floss tube. If you're watching this in the week of the 1st of March, then you can still enter in to win. But it's really cute. It's basically a collectible, like a, a card issue with several designs from Doreen Jones and there are 12, 12 charts inside of the little book and it comes with three little charms, three embellishments. Um, there's also over here, obviously there's going to be ads in this magazine as well. And here we go. The main pattern, the big one, this is Peter Rabbit. It looks as though this was designed by those who have the copyright to Peter Rabbit. So those who are in charge of the copyright actually have created this into a cross stitch kit. So I'm not sure if it comes directly from the picture and they made it into a cross stitch or how they did it, but there's no other, there's no other tribute to any other designer. So I'm going to say that it belongs to the Beatrix Potter family. Um, it's beautiful. It says that there are some fractionals, but only a few, and there is backstitching, as you can see. But look how adorable that is with those two little ducks. So, so cute. Here is their section where they share what you've been stitching. So if you're a reader and you send it in, you can send in your projects and share it with everyone. Um, there's a few giveaways in here as well, which is awesome, um, especially if you're looking for freebie charts. <laughs> go more of them here oh isn't that adorable very cool here it says each month we randomly select three subscribers to win a prize as a thank you so that's really cute here's another big section of this month's magazine which is called welcome to the jungle new baby cards so I hope you can see this. These are from Diane Maschen, M Maschen, I think. And these are the pictures. Look how adorable they are, oh my gosh. So cute. 
I, I love, you know, animals, zoo stuff, especially when it comes to little babies as well. Now here's another main pattern. This is a happy bunch, sunny daffodils. This is from Amanda Gregory. Amanda Gregory is a great, great designer. Love her stuff. Lots and lots of detail here. So if you don't like confetti, I wouldn't recommend it, but it is gorgeous. I mean, look at the look at the detail in this. So there's just cross stitch, full cross stitch and back stitching in this piece. And I love how real it looks. Just gorgeous. We have a lot of daffodils here, so this is just fantastic. I love that they give you a shopping list. I wish I could show you. Hang on, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. See here how it says shopping list, the thread and the fabric cost approximate, just so that you have an idea of how much you might have to spend on the project. Um, I've gone ahead and blocked off that side so that you could see this. This is what's going on this month. Now, some of these things could be canceled due to what's going on in the world, but you know, just so you know, if you wanted to freeze or pause the video, you're more than like, you're more than welcome. There are some dates for your diary. If you live in the UK, this would be excellent for you. So here they've been looking out for really cool things to buy. Uh, I recognize this right away. This is the uh, peppermint purple black work called Sunny Waves. It seems that in... It seems that they really like peppermint purple. They seem to highlight one of their one of their charts every month so far. Ooh, look at that. You can make your own stained glass window. Here's some more. Really cute. Look at that little puffin. Stitchrovia. Cute. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. What is that? Panna. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. It must be huge though. Here's a stitching planner from Peacock and Fig. Year of the Biscornu <laughs> with Tiny Modernist. Actually, I just saw that um, Angela she just stitched this and look at those those are beautiful home sweet home is that a bothy threads peter underhill of course it's peter underhill i should have known okay so now that we're back on the table <laughs> okay so here we've got some professional uh, panel who can answer questions like where can I find a really nice cross stitch of sunflowers and have you ever seen musical instruments and they give you some suggestions. More suggestions here. Uh, this is one of their resident designers. This is from... Jenny and Jenny can only really do small things but if you want to if you if you're you know subscribed to the magazine you could ask her to try to chart something for you and it looks like here we have a road bike which is perfect timing for spring I remember reading this part where someone was saying that they would like to stitch this family tree but they wanted to take out a branch and add another nameplate and so they asked how to do that and they gave some suggestions. I mean, this is all really, really practical information, but it's also really good for beginners as well, which is me. <laughs> Here we have Notre Dame, gorgeous. This is from Carol Thornton down here. And uh, this says that it is a more advanced kit. It's got stitches, fractionals, backstitch, French knots, and beads but it is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to flip a few pages to get past it because it is huge. Okay, so here we have 43 motifs. 
Art Nouveau Designs by Marie Diaz. So if you remember in the last flip through that I did in the last issue, there were 40 something uh, cleaning motifs, which was perfect timing for what we're going through right now. Um, and cute little stitches of really random stuff. So I'm gonna take this away for a second and I'm gonna try to describe what I can see without you seeing anything. So, oh, good, I can actually show you. Sorry, Luna wants to be in with us. We've got a dog, we've got a beautiful flower here with a teardrop, a squirrel. You know, there's lots of little motifs here. Oh, she's come to lie down. <laughs> she's so cute. Lots and lots of flowers. So I'm looking at a page full of flowers. There's 12 of them and a peacock. Then there are loads more flowers, angels, a monkey squirrel dog on this page more more motifs very cute so if you're trying to make a sampler you know or trying to incorporate more motifs into your sampler this would be a great issue to have this one talks about how you can make your own sampler how you can arrange those motifs in a way that you want and you just cut it out in paper she goes into a lot of detail there the next project is another alphabet. Are you okay, Pesh? <laughs> um, this is called the Chocolate ABCs, and you can see here that why. Uh, pieces of chocolate and donuts, chocolate oranges, uh, Kit Kats, I think, Toblerone, and slices of cake. And so there are loads, all, all the alphabet, but all in sweeties. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's loads of pages and I would show you, but I can't. So the next one is called Easter Hanging. And this is by Jenny Barton. So she's the one that designed the bank. And isn't this just so cute? I love the bunny coming out from behind the H. I just think that's so cute. Um, this shouldn't be too hard, um, although there are some French knots for the eyes. It doesn't look like they need to be perfect or anything, so, you know, it shouldn't be too, too bad. And if you didn't want to do the French knots, you could always do beads. So, uh, cute, super cute. I love them. It's just so adorable. Um, and then, let's see. They've got more things like online news, where you can share your stitches on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook some websites that you would love and ooh, so they've got the peppermint purple year of blackwork sal here in for the free download you can check it out i really like that so now this one is is special in all the editions of spring they're going to have a spring sampler this is the spring stitch along and this is from the historical sampler company so if you're interested in joining along, and this style looks more like something that you would like to do, then please get this issue because it starts off with this beautiful border. I actually, it's growing on me. It's really growing on me. Honestly, it is a beginner style pattern, but there's something about it that's just really cute. And you could always change colors if you don't like them, you know, it's all up to you. Okay, here we go. This one. <laughs> you guys know that I love Doreen Jones, and Doreen Jones is doing Pet of the Month. And this month, it's a bearded dragon. So for those of you who love bearded dragons, please stay tuned because you know it's coming. So they've got this little chart here for you. And I know there's lots of people that love it. Now this is an armchair pincushion. Hands up, how many people already have one? I think it's adorable. I mean, look at all the little pieces to it, you know? Pin cushions and buttons and everything. And then it's over here as well, different things from this side. Um, and it gives you the full instructions on how to actually finish it, which is awesome. I don't think, yeah. So it shows you how you, how you can make it as well. Now, oh yes. This one, I love this one. I want to do this so, so bad. Um, this one is the quick challenge, 
where you learn how to do a spider web stitch, which is this little rose up here. And this is the Frog and Wellies chart. And I believe that this, it says that this is an advanced, an advanced stitch. And I think that's mainly because it has this new stitch. It's a, it's a kind of embroidery stitch, you know, it's not just cross stitch. So it could be a little daunting, but I think it's super cute. Here we have some of the giveaways this month. So we have a gathered website that's doing some kits to give away. Uh, here we have a goldfinch goldfinch band sampler. If you're really into bands, I'm not. I'm I'm really not, but the, I have some friends who are, and it is gorgeous. I mean, look at those beautiful flowers. Um, this was created exclusively for Lakeside Needle Needlecraft, and you need to go to gathered dot how, etc. These are mostly for people who, obviously, these are for people who buy the magazine. Uh, there's a tiny martinist, and there is, I believe, yeah, a 50-pound voucher. Okay, this is the chart. This chart, I love it so much that I already have it mostly hit up. And I'm going to show you, this is how I'm kidding it up. I won this from Lollipop Stitches. Uh, she did a giveaway, or not a giveaway, she did an auction. Since Michelle Bandy Stitchy wasn't able to do an auction this month due to Nashville and time constraints and all that, um, she auctioned off this huge bendy, bendy flip. It's not a bendy, well actually it's not a bendy flip, what would you call this? Anyway, this is from Bags Plus. Bags Plus originally, who's in the UK, and it holds all your DMC and bobbins. So I've got it mostly kit up. You can see that there are some numbers that I don't have, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to stitch this as soon as I possibly can, even if I have to substitute some DMC numbers. And all I need is to figure out which piece of fabric I want to use. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love this. It's called Grazing Sheep. It has some French knots, a lot of back stitching. So I have a feeling that it won't really look like much until you finish the back stitching. But it's designed to fit in a seven inch hoop, which I think I have. And I don't use hoops, so I would finish it in the hoop just to, just to give the hoop a reason to live, <laughs> a reason to be in my home. So um, this would be perfect for anyone who loves springtime, anybody who loves sheep or Ireland or anything like that. I definitely highly recommend this pattern and in this issue. Here we have Carol Thornton, who is in the, in the kind of spotlight this month. And she talks about what do you love about being a designer and how did you begin and all of those really interesting things that we want to know about our designers. Here we have, you know, the stockists, the ads, back issues where you can order more ads and then it shows you what's next. Oh my goodness, what is coming next? Look at that beautiful, magnificent tiger. Huge. This is by Jenny Barton. We have some beautiful wildflower kits. Actually, you know what? I'll bring it closer to you. We'll start on the left. How about that? So we have some pretty wedding toppers where you can swap off the faces and the hair. Great idea. A VE Day, a 75th anniversary edition. Very cute. We've got some cute little sea creatures. And look, yes, <laughs> a hummingbird that has all black work. I cannot wait. Um, and then we have a little pup named Pepper. We have some cute cupcake cards. And this is actually going to be the little package of the month, the little extra. And it'll have the part two of the stitch along, some European folk art ABCs, which sounds wonderful. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to show you the little wildflowers. Sorry about all the zooming. That's the problem when you go to record in the evening. <laughs> 
So uh, they also have their basic how-to in the back. A little Sudoku if you really like that. And their website. So that's it. Here on the back they have another advertisement for that for that Heritage Crafts website or the the store Heritage Crafts. And honestly, Peter Hunderhill is amazing. So is Karen Carter. Look at this. That actually looks like where I live. No joke. No joke. 100%. Um, and then these cute little guys. I'd love to do a little, a little um, scene, you know, like all of them at once. And those are adorable as well. Aren't they cute? There's such great patterns out there for everybody you know so guys i hope you enjoyed this little flip flip, flip excuse me flip through <laughs> of the world of cross stitching magazine um thank you for your patience as i was going through a few lighting and doggy kind of interruptions <laughs> i hope you are all having a wonderful day and have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you all really soon in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.